Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Solar 7 channel. Welcome all my new friends and subscribers out there. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have Brother Dan with me today. And it is the point of time to read some of his old prophecy messages. Uh, this one's from 2010. So I'm going to be in the book of Isaiah. Uh, let's see, where am I? Isaiah chapter 47, verses 9 to 11. But these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitude of your sorceries, for the great abundance of your enchantments. For you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you. And you have said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. Therefore, evil shall come upon you. You shall not know from where it arises, and the trouble shall fall upon you. You will not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Wow. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got this word on March 18th of 2010. Look into thy heart, and you shall be saved. Just like the prophets before you, my word will be heard by some, and vilified by most. The songs from the heart please me the most. My voice will be heard from the deepest canons, canyons to the highest mountains. The truth will free thee from the chains of sin. Lift up thy hand and feel the power of my spirit. Honor my word and you shall receive honor from me. You shall finish what was started and bring the remaining sheep to the flock. The odor of war and pestilence is in the air. Spirits mended shall remain unbroken. Gifts granted will guide thee. The eyes of fire await thee. The hour is near when you shall see my glory. I who created all shall judge all. The cross shall support thee. Those that see the light are protected by my angels. The pool of sorrows shall be evaporated in the light of day. The precious hold the word in high regard, while the wicked hide in shame. The well of knowledge surrounds thee. Come and drink from its waters. I tell you now, lightning shall fill the sky, and my sheep will know when my time is at hand, when I roar, the earth shakes. Liberate thyself from those around you and prepare for my return. With outstretched arms I shall receive my children and welcome them into my kingdom in heaven. Know that all the beasts of the earth, including man, were created for my good pleasure. A righteous man has a repentant heart and does his good work in my name. His ways are guided by the Father. The fruits of heaven are for his taking. Know my spirit surrounds him and protects him from harm. Justice and mercy are the armor of God that accompany him. The spirit that has been purified by fire will withstand the trials they face. Those that have gained much from others will have little to show for it. Those that have prayed much will receive their just rewards. The winds of change blow, and no man can predict where they will end or nor where they begin. Those that live in darkness and have never seen the light, fear not the darkness, nor seek the light. The pleasures of today are fleeting, but the joys in my Father's kingdom is for eternity. Those that have suffered much in my name have been counted, and their reward in heaven is great. The sirens shall announce my return, the sky shall open, and suddenly I shall be upon thee. Amen. Wow, that's another hum there. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, his sheep know when the time is at hand when he's returning. I'm a sheep. I'm knowing he's returning pretty soon. 
So again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, so receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, created by the Acts 238, and I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur Day of Atonement, and starting September 24th, 2015, I'm announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom and His Majesty. That message has been up now almost two years, I think, so we don't know what's going to happen then. So get your house in order. We know we're at the end times. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Brother Dan. Amen. Shalom.